What exactly is Narcan? And why is it considered a life-saving drug in emergency situations? Whether you're working in the field or preparing for your board exam, understanding this medication can be the difference between life and death for someone experiencing an opioid overdose. But here's the thing. It isn't just about knowing what Narcan is. You must also understand how and when it is used. So keep watching because this video breaks down a practice question and explanation of this very topic. So if you're ready, let's get into the question. A 39-year-old intubated female patient has been admitted to the emergency department during cardiac arrest. During CPR, the nursing team is unable to establish an IV access. The patient is suspected of experiencing a narcotic overdose and the physician orders naloxone, or Narcan, to reverse the opioid effects. Which of the following is the most appropriate alternative route for administering the drug in this situation? A. Through the feeding tube. B. Aerosolized via small volume nebulizer. C. Through the nasogastric tube. Or D. Through the endotracheal tube. Do you know the answer? Well. Let's break it down. In emergency situations like cardiac arrest, when IV access is not available, certain medications can safely be administered via the endotracheal tube. Narcan is one of those medications. To help you remember which drugs can be delivered through the ET tube, you can memorize the navel mnemonic, which can be broken down as follows. N stands for Narcan. A atropine, V, vasopressin, E, epinephrine, and L, lidocaine. Again, each of these drugs is safe to instill directly down the endotracheal tube. And now for some more key considerations for ET tube administration. You should remember that medications should be diluted in 5 to 10 milliliters of sterile saline or water before installation. The dose is typically two to two and a half times higher than the IV dose to ensure effective absorption through the pulmonary vasculature. And always follow endotracheal administration with positive pressure ventilation to help distribute the medication into the lungs. Now let's break down why the other options are incorrect. Option A is incorrect because feeding tubes are intended for nutrition or enteral medications and are not suitable for emergency drug delivery, especially during cardiac arrest. Option B is also incorrect because small volume nebulizer delivery is too slow and unreliable in a cardiac arrest situation and requires spontaneous breathing, which is absent during CPR. Option C is incorrect because like a feeding tube, an NG tube is not appropriate for emergency drug delivery especially when rapid reversal of opioid effects is needed. And that leaves option D. Endotracheal tube administration is an accepted alternative route for specific emergency medications, including naloxone, when IV access is not available. Therefore, by breaking down the answer choices, we can easily determine that the correct answer has to be D, through the endotracheal tube. Now the key takeaway for this question is this. In a patient who is intubated and undergoing CPR with no IV access, medications such as Narcan can be safely administered through the endotracheal tube. Understanding the navel mnemonic is essential for quickly recalling which drugs are appropriate for endotracheal administration in emergency situations. If you enjoy practice questions like this, definitely consider checking out our TMC test bank. It's a massive bank of practice questions with helpful explanations like this one that students are using to pass the TMC exam. It also comes with multiple mock TMC practice exams to help you test your knowledge and prepare for the real thing. If you're interested, I'll drop a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more including some premium bonuses that are included for a limited time.
You can also consider signing up to receive daily TMC practice questions directly to your inbox each morning when you wake up. This is one of the most effective strategies to learn every topic that's required to earn a passing score. Again, if you're interested, check out the links below in the description. But real quick, if you don't mind, please drop a like on this video and subscribe to support the channel. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.